Hello YouTube, it's going to be a little video for you, um, but it's going to be extremely useful for people like me that use laptops to uh, play games with and may not have enough storage space to um, actually keep it internally on your hard drive. Um, so what you're going to need is your external hard drive and internet because uh, if you're going to use Steam like I'm going to be showing you in this video uh, we're going to be moving some files around so um, make sure you have your software and everything ready mine's a GoFlex a Seagate GoFlex uh, external hard drive and these are fairly fast um, this I only have the uh, the USB port uh, cable hooked up to right now soon I'll get a uh, Firewire 800 don't worry about performance or anything um, people said it would, it would take a while to load but um, I've actually seen no uh, no problems in load times, but I'm gonna get a FireWire 100 just so I can transfer files around fast enough. So, um, first you're gonna check out your hard drive. Let's go to computer, you can see right here, so see, free agent, go flex drive. And then, um, this is a Mac, so I got a partition going on here. Um, so go into your main hard drive, your Windows hard drive, because I'm going to be doing this for Windows and then Steam is going to be in program files double click on program files and go down to you'll find S's and here's Steam see all your Steam apps this is where your games are going to be Battlefields, Team Fortress, these are just uh, the base of those games there's nothing actually in this folder right now um, so this whole folder you're just going to want to uh, right click and press cut and then just paste right into whatever folder you want. Just paste it right in here. See, I already have a folder. This is my, my drive right here. If you don't know where I went for that, again, again, really easy. Just go to computer, go to your um, H drive, which is going to be your external hard drive, and then just paste it right inside here. And mine took about two hours. It was about 60 gigabytes of space, and um, or of, uh, you know, I'm using it up. If I had like a firewire, I would cut that in half. About, um, see, this is all my Steam stuff right here, just everything, and just cut and paste it right into there. Um, this cleared up a lot of space for me. I don't know why I keep clicking out of that. This is really simple. See, I have 57 free, um, 57 gigs free. That was down to last night, I think 10. <laughs> so I really need an external hard drive. So. After that, after you cut and pasted that in there, um, again, I don't know why I cut out. I went out of that. Uh, your Steam folder is going to be right there. I just named it Steam, and then you're going to need to go all the way down until you see these two right here. Um, you need the one that is application. Double click on application, and it is going to start up and then it's going to be connecting to your account and then it will come up with a it's going to be sensed as another computer technically so you need to um, excuse my friends <laughs> uh, you're going to need to um, uh, 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 get go through the uh, another ID pro or not another ID process but uh, you're gonna it's gonna send an email to uh, send you a code to your email and then you put that code on here and like Welcome to this computer, blah 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 blah, and then you, as soon as you, uh, all your games are going to be there that were installed, but now you can just start installing more games. Last night I just paused Borderlands. I actually started putting in more games. Um, make sure you hop on some of these deals right now too. Uh, I know Mirror's Edge was like five bucks or something, and then they have a bunch of uh, Star Wars stuff about Battlefront Two, and then after that it's going to be right here. Make sure you just press pin. Let's see, you can unpin it. Just pin it there, and it'll be good to go. Mine just looks like this because it was it's it's a missing icon thing, and uh, it was unplugged earlier, and I just plugged it in, so that's why it's like a it's just an unknown icon. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. Look at some of my other videos if you're interested in some computer things, um, simple software, or just about Macs. Um, any hard drive, any external hard drive really should do. Um, load times, the only performance difference is going to be load times. <laughs> it's not going to be frame rate. 
but um, I can actually say that for some reason I went up 10 frames in Battlefield's Bad Company 2, which is kind of interesting, I don't know. Um, so have fun, and remember to, okay, remember this, remember to use your warranty, <laughs> because um, these drives can fail, it's all about heat, but for uh, this one, the one I'm using, the it's a 500 gig GoFlex, um, and it's barely even gotten warm, and I was installing games like all night last night, so just be careful of the heat, that's all, and have fun with the games, bye.